Hello and welcome, you're listening to Right Side of the Road, Who Is? While it is important to understand politics and to stay up to date, you can't do any of that without understanding those actual, actually in politics, the people themselves. Join me once a month in my Who Is series as we focus on one major figure in politics and explore all you could ever want to know about them. Joe Biden. Chances are you've heard that name before. I believe his official title right now is Monsieur Presidente. He goes by many names, though. Brandon Corn Pop. Sure, Joe. Bon Joe. Right now, yes, he's old and he's 78. He started politics 49 years ago, though, well, at the age of 29. He's been all over the place. He was senator for a good long while. He's been vice president to President Obama. And now, Monsieur Presidente. He's the current president of the United States, if you couldn't catch on to that. Today, join me as we learn a little bit more about how Mr. Biden got to his position as president. After that, we'll look into his current policies, what they may do, and what people think about them. Finally, I address rumors and jokes about him and give you the straight message. Are they true or not? You're listening to Right Side of the Road, Who Is? So let's kick things off with just a little bit of a brief smidgen of history about him. He started Senate in 1972, at the age of 29, becoming the sixth youngest senator in U.S. history. Now you have to be at least 35 to enter the Senate, President, Congress, any political position like that in our government. He ended his Senate career in 2009 just because he was elected to be the vice president to Obama. This brings me to a quick point I want to make about career politicians, though. Biden is what is known as a career politician. They are people who spend their life or their career as a politician. I don't think they're good. On Senate, our Senate probably should have term limits so that you can't do this. But as you can see, Biden managed to be senator for over 30 years. And there are term limits on president, I believe, Congress, but you shouldn't be able to run for senator for 30 years because you just become a career politician. And one reason they are bad is that they never stop with their agenda. If they were to try and pass a bill right at the beginning of their career and it gets shut down, they just keep trying. Biden here had 37 years to try and pass his agenda and his bills while in the Senate. And this isn't how our American system should work. Our founding fathers decided that the American people have the vote, and if they vote down a certain bill or agenda, that should just be the last of it. Unfortunately, these career politicians have their entire career in front of them to keep putting their bills into votes until they can hopefully pass them. Now, after Biden's Senate career to pass things, he has the presidential seat and his administration to try and pass bills that he didn't manage to. And yes, he was elected to be the vice president to former President Obama. <clears throat> Sadly, though, he was elected again and for a second term in October, not October, but with Obama in 2012. Excuse me, I coughed. During these terms, he achieved a few accomplishments, such as fixing the debt ceiling once. He also faced much criticism while he was vice president, and he still is. After four great years for our economy under President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence, we ran the 2020 election. The now President Biden won the 2020 election, and we'll get into that in just one second. Before we do this, though, like and subscribe and leave a five-star review wherever you are listening. If you like what you hear here and you want more episodes of Who Is, subscribing helps more than you can possibly imagine. Now let's take more of a look into Biden within the past year or so, starting with the 2020 election, so maybe a month more than a year, 13 months. You'll hear plenty of Republicans saying that the election was skewed to guarantee the left a win, or to at least try to help them along. And it's kind of hard to prove that it was was rigged or that it wasn't either way. And there was some evidence in videos that came out when the elections were being run that allegedly showed people in the ballot counting centers just taking out boxes of fake ballots from under their desk and just setting them on their like counter to put fake ballots into the ballot counting machine. And those have all been removed now. But Trump came out and accused many states of rigging elections. And again, there isn't really a way to prove that they did or didn't. And a note on Trump. Do I think he was a great president? Yes, he was a great president. He did some great things for our economy. Do I think he's an entirely great person? No. He's done some bad things, and I think that's partly why Biden won. It isn't that people really liked Biden. You can see that they don't right now. But they knew the bad things about Trump and didn't want to vote for that. 
when Trump accused people of rigging the election, he didn't do it in an official way, which is usually in a court of law, so that you can actually sue the states, but he didn't get anything done that way. Well, he didn't want to try that, so he didn't get anything done. And again, it's hard to find any video evidence of the elections being rigged now, because the media and the internet removed all of it. Which brings me to my next point. People's opinions, the information that they were getting, were kind of like tricked and rigged in their brain. So most of the mainstream media, you'll find the Wall Street Journal, New York Post, all of those things, they're highly democratic. All of their articles and reporting are biased heavily in order to make the left look better. In fact, just a few weeks ago, Biden himself met with those in the media who weren't as biased or had written some less biased articles to discuss how he could make himself look better because he was unhappy with how the a cover a covering of the economy was going because our economy is terrible and he didn't want people finding out can you not see prices rising i don't even know anymore anyway what's passed in the election has passed in the election for the next three years we're stuck with the current monsieur presidente unless he does something that we can impeach him for you know just a quick note He's told us for a very long time, Biden, that he is a Catholic, but it does not show. Many of his policies go completely against the Bible and what it teaches. Now, more modern. In September, he pulled us out of Afghanistan. For those of you who have not heard, after 9-11 with the Twin Towers, we chased the terror gr terrorist groups responsible into Afghanistan and remained there to secure the country's government because we helped set up a new one and fend off groups like ISIS and the Taliban. For the past couple of years, we've kept a mere 2,500 soldiers with very few casualties there. He somehow saw the need to withdraw all of them immediately without any warning. I believe September 31st was the deadline. Well, when we did that, we didn't even take our weapons with us. We left $85 billion worth of weapons and essentially just handed them to the Taliban, giving up our one advantage. Now they run Afghanistan and torture the people there, literally. In the process of pulling out of Afghanistan, we tragically lost the lives of 13 American soldiers, all directly because Biden pulled us out too fast and too soon. Since the time he took office, our inflation skyrocketed. Check out my second episode for that. It ended up being uploaded a day later, so I think many of you missed it. Our gas prices have also risen by insane margins. So now let's take a very quick look at what Biden's agenda is for change in the United States while he is president. Let me be clear, Biden's policies and agenda are extremely far left, known as the progressive left, because he just wants to progress everything towards the left. My hands aren't even on screen, it's so far left. He ran as a moderate. When he was president, he claimed he was going to be a very moderate president, so he would be still democratic, but he would appeal to some of the Republicans. And that's one of the appeals that made people want to elect him. Now his true colors are showing, and he's more left than my left pinky. You can see this in the bills he's been pushing and how he's been pushing them. Take a look at Build Back Better. That contains so much leftist just woke nonsense. And if you don't know, Build Back Better is the biggest bill Biden is pushing right now. It's, also, for one, extremely expensive, very big waste of money. But it contains something for paid schooling. For, it, it contains a bunch of paid schooling from age, like, two or something, so as soon as you can hear and comprehend what you are hearing, you're going to be indoctrinated with the left's narratives. That doesn't sound like a great thing. He's a ton of new inflationary policies that push things that only the left cares about. Paid health care, paying people to stay home. Why do you think everyone's hiring right now? The Wendy's near me only works drive through It's really sad. And plenty more. These wouldn't be part of his agenda if he actually was moderate. And I think his policies are seriously just run by his administration. We'll get to this more later. But you can see the people in his administration saying the exact same words he says in press meetings like he was spoon-fed them 15 minutes before. Take a look at his Twitter. He has so many tweets just talking about the woke narratives that the media keep talking about. All leftist. To top all of this off, half of what he talks about is COVID. Check out my latest episode to learn more about that. But that is something that the left wants to keep stressing so that they can keep power over everyone by using COVID as an excuse. And people really hate these policies, like really, really, really hate them. His approval rating among American people has just plummeted straight down. His approval on the economy is, I'm not kidding you, 36% of people approve and 56% of people disapprove. And that is coming from a poll that is usually 
rigged to make the left look better. So if that's the rigged number, what does the actual number look like? Now there are plenty of common rumors that you'll hear about Biden. Let's just start with those that are just kind of plain, just making fun of him. People say he pooped his pants in front of the Pope, which there isn't any information to suggest that this is actually true. While it is pretty funny to think of, I'm almost certain Biden, didn't, Biden did not poop his pants in front of the Pope. On the subject of unfortunate bowel movements, though, it is rumored that he loudly farted at the Global Climate Change Conference. This was confirmed by tweets and messages from other rulers of other actual countries that were there. And it's just kind of funny to think he's causing natural gas at a climate change conference, but his brain doesn't really work anymore, is another rumor. And this is evidently true. You can see that he has the early but developing symptoms of something like dementia or Alzheimer's. People also say that his son uses him. Yes, his son Hunter Biden has been involved in many, many different scandals. He uses his father's influence to sell hugely expensive things, such as his kind of terrible paintings. Let me share a secret. But that's not what they want me to say, so I mean, they're like Picasso quality, it's insane. He has been involved in some pretty bad scandals, such as working with the leaders of other countries that could be potential enemies to the United States, just to get more money. They both just want more money. Biden used Hunter, reportedly, to pay off all of his bills, to just use him for basic living expenses for a good period of time. And all of this information has been confirmed by his personal Hunter Biden's personal computer, because he left it at a repair shop and people managed to recover it and check the emails. Now let's move on to some of the jokes about Biden. And many of the jokes are based on rumors, but many are also true. Looking at his nicknames, they are mostly true. People call him Sleepy Joe. Yes, Joe Biden is frequently tired. This happens a lot as you get older. There have been times where he literally just sleeps in the middle of a press conference or while on air in the news. So he's just, just it's like news and he's just... Anyway, people also call him Mumbly Joe. Also, yes, Joe Biden mumbles a lot. For those of you who have not heard it, I'll get a little compilation if I can. Rock and I think it's a right for people that have bad and kept care. True and international suffered to pressure. All men and women created by the... Go, you know the, you know the thing. This also happens frequently as you get older. He does it all the time, and probably every single press conference. People joke about him sniffing kids, and this is also true and extremely weird. When he's around other people's children, typically very young ones, he literally just walks over and smells them. Like he's inspecting a gallon of milk to see if it's spoiled. There have even been songs about it. Can I sniff your daughter? People also say that he doesn't do any of the running of the country. He doesn't make any of the decisions. This is also probably mostly true. While it is debatable, it seems clear that he doesn't make many decisions. Most of what he does is scripted. There have been times where he says that he has been told, like he just admits, that he's been told to only call on specific people at press meetings where they get to ask questions about, not about, but to the president. And he seems to be clearly spoon-fed most of his speech speeches from his administration, like I said, who really do most of the running of things. And I do want to make a small point about making jokes about the president. Yes, they're funny. They're hilarious. I love them all. We should be a little bit careful, though. A lot of these are just making fun of, about how old he is, which isn't necessarily bad, but it comes mostly from his evident brain disease, which isn't something to make fun of. You can make as many jokes as you'd like. I do it all the time. But don't do it just to make fun of the man. He's struggling, and it's actually sad, both for him and the America that has to live under him. To summarize this special episode, President Joe Biden has been working in politics for almost half a century. We're just one year away. He worked in the Senate for a very, very long time. Then he ran as vice president for eight straight years to President Obama. He ran in 2020 as a moderate president and managed to scrape together a victory as Trump, against Trump. Now, he is not a moderate president. He is a very left president, and we covered that. He has been involved in some pretty shady dealings with his son, and he's destroyed parts of America, whether through inflation or gas prices. No, I'm not counting the two cents that it d decreased by. Not only America, but other poor countries like Afghanistan. People hate these policies and have made some pretty quality jokes about them. Sadly, we've reached the end of our special episode. If you liked this idea and want to see more, 
Like this episode and subscribe from wherever you are listening from. I hope you learned more about our current president and can contribute actual information, not just old rumors or jokes, to any potential conversation. I'll be back next week with a Christmas-themed episode. You're listening to Right Side of the Road. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you all next week.